Shalom. Shalom Rastafari. Greetings. Our, 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 our greetings, my brothers and sisters. Um, we have some new um, documents, some new uh, scrolls, and some new materials to show one and all. Um, you can go to our website. These are some of the new books that just came in, actually. The one that we wanted to show you, and we were really looking forward to it, hasn't come through just yet. But if you're willing, you can order a copy of it. It's Ethiopic our first language, Ethiopic, our first language. And this is a very, very interesting news week. We're in a very interesting news period. Um, and we might not be able to touch on all of the stories and everything that's going on and a lot of the connections between this and that and so forth and so on. But we're going to do our best. And we also want to announce that um, some of our partners, some of the other brothers, sisters, ministries, Bible study groups, and other partners out there. We really pray for y'all. We get, we say hallelujah to Egeziabi here, Lotus of Hot, in the name of Getachin Naminata Tachin Jesus Christos, for you and for your efforts. And watch and pray for I and I, and uh, continue to build and continue to till and continue to preach and proclaim the good news of His Imperial Majesty and His Christ. Now, these are some of the new books right here, and we're just going to go through this pretty um, pretty uh, quickly right now, and hopefully we'll have an opportunity to get into each of these books in their own turn, and also if one is unfamiliar with the book, we also want to give a little bit more of why we, why we um, are confident, why we know, not just feel, we feel it, yes, he who feels it knows it. But we, we know that these books are very important for our studies, for our children to help to build, to help to restore that which we have lost, as well as to continue to build until in and through the 2012 and into the new millennium, according as it is written. Now, the first work is our own version, you understand, of... Um, the speech book, the selected speech book of His Imperial Majesty. You can go to our website and see some of the prices right now. As we said, the prices are a little bit more than we would be happy, and we, we wrestled over this. We said, well, at some of the course, we want it to be a little bit more affordable, um, but because this is still baby steps right now, you know, baby steps right now, and anyone who is had a child, especially a young child, would know that these costs are expensive. You understand? The cost of a newborn, of a life, and just life in general. But education is the key. So let us understand this. Education is the key. So this is selected speeches. You understand? Selected speeches, which we have um, reprinted in this uh, beautiful volume right here, similar to the one that One Drop Books has put out. But this is the line of Judah. Um, society publication version of selected speeches. So go to www.lojsociety.org if you want to um, learn more about it and and what's in it. Now, this book right here is a, is a, another level of, um, of of study and preparation. This is Kabura Zabenya. You understand? And this is. This is the LOJ um, Army Infantry School. You understand? Know because as we're going forward, we're going to have to protect ourselves. We're going to have to defend ourselves. We're going to have to do for ourselves and stop relying upon Babylonian um, post slave traumatic PTSD services, so forth and so on. So, this right here is one of our black ops. You understand? Know one of our black ops right now. So, we're not going to discuss it too much at this particular time. And um, I'm not sure if this book really perhaps is available online just as of yet, you understand? But this is the Kabur Zabenya, you understand? But we're going to start off, first of all, with um, the rites of passage, the bar mitzvah, the bat mitzvah, and for the brothers as well. We have to train, we have to defend ourselves. And we look, we, we, we look at the state of Israel, you understand, as, as a, on a level, an example you understand, of what works as well as what doesn't work for us. But 
their whole settlement project for us at this present time is very inspiring and in what we can learn. You understand what we can learn to do as well as certain things that we will not seek to do because we see the negative consequences of that. Now, let's just move on from that um, to this particular book right here by John Lamb, uh, Hebrew Hieroglyphics. You understand Hebrew characters uh, derived from hieroglyphics. It's a, it's a oldie, as they say, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. You understand? It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Um, it's under our Egyptology, Hebrew studies, and Bible section. John Lamb's 1835 uh, Hebrew hieroglyphics. It contains and explores the original pictures applied to the interpretation of various words and passages in the sacred writings of the Hebrew Bible, and especially the history of the creation and the fall of man. Much has been learned and discovered since Mr. Lamb first presented his findings and speculations. However, his work still remains relevant and adds to our understanding of one of the earliest and still most noteworthy for its time and substance. Mr. Lamb successfully makes his point by comparison after comparison and adding Hebrew scriptures to his interpretations of the hieroglyphic characters that is both relevant and profoundly insightful. We hope the reader and student of this subject will be inspired as we have been to follow up on some or many of the initial claims made by the said author. And this right here is um, Hebrew hieroglyphics as they are um, um, Hebrew characters, rather, as they're derived and explained by the hieroglyphics, the original pictures applied to interpretation of various words and passages in the sacred writings, and especially of the history of creation, the fall of man. Back in those days, they liked long titles. They would have a short title, Hebrew Hieroglyphics, the short title, but the long title was, was a, a good um, explanatory, a detail explanatory. But this book right here, we really recommend this, and we're going to touch on and highlight some of the findings because it goes to the pure language and as well as interpretation in our Torah portion readings and feedings and studies as well. So this is like a really good, that's a really good book right there. And these last two, these last two particular, particular, um, particular works, right? These last two particular works, this is book uh, volume one. This is volume one of um, a book of the beginning, uh, Gerald Macy's work. And this is volume two of Gerald Macy's work. As you can see, these are some fat books right here. You understand? These are some fat books, but they're well worth it. You understand? When ones can afford it, get a copy, especially a home copy, would be very, very useful. And those who are interested in, in, in studies, you understand, in certain studies. And we, we don't want to um, presuppose and, and, and presume, you understand, but our prayers and our hopes are that we will be able to establish our own schools and other institutions where we would be able to utilize these and even provide them for students. You know, and therefore that would, you know, work out the, the, the course, so forth and so on. But what we said we want to do when new books come in, we want to let ones know about what new books are currently available. And the books that are currently available right now um, are these four books. The fifth one on the Kabura Zabenya is more or less it's it, it's for those for whom have gone through the required prerequisites because it's speaking about how we will be able to defend ourselves. You understand? Because nonviolence for I and I is a tactic. It's it's a tactic. It's not a strategy. It's not a conclusion. You understand? But we might and we will need to be able to protect ourselves, defend ourselves. And in certain cases, you understand, go on the offense for our way of life. And that's why this particular fifth book, you understand, Kabura Zabenya, is about the restoration 
of the honor guard of his imperial majesty under Rastafari and in this Rastafari dispensation. So it goes into some of the Ranger, United States Ranger, and other type of information for a team, for team building, leadership, so forth and so on. But like we said, that those levels, the McQuanant, we call this the McQuanant, that would be the McQuanant level right there. But we're going to start off with certain basic um, um, Girl Scout, Boy Scout, but we'll begin off first with the, with the Bar and the Bat Mitzvah, which is the rite of passage. But everything for us, everything has that as a foundation, the scripture and the word of God. The Torah studies, the portions, the readings, the feedings, our language, so forth and so on. So of these particular available books, we promote these particular four books right now. These particular four books, Selected Speeches, Hebrew Hieroglyphics, and Book 1 and Book 2 of Gerald Macy's Book of the Beginning. So you can go to our website, www.lojsociety.org for more. So my brothers and sisters, stay tuned. And once again, Shalom Rastafari. More to come, Yah willing. Shalom. <laughs>